Hello friends, welcome back. Are you tired of complicated authentication systems slowing down your app? Meet JWT, the lightweight, secure game changer. That's revolutionizing how apps handle the security. In just a few minutes, you'll be discussing why JSON Web Token, which is JWT, are a must-have tool for developers who want seamless, stateless, and secure communication between the client and the server. Ready to level up your app security with one simple solution? Let's dive in. What is JWT? JWT stands for JSON Web Token. It's an open standard used for securely transmitting information between two parties, typically a client like a web or a mobile app and a server. It is a compact and self-contained token that encodes the information in a way that can be easily verified and trusted. How does JWT work? JWT consists of three parts, header, payload, and signature. Header contains the metadata like the type of token, and the hashing algorithm used. In our case, it is mhack or SHA-256. Payload holds the data or the claims like user ID or the session information. The claims can be public like username or private like user roles or something. Signature is the last part that is created by taking the encoded header and payload and hashing them using a secret key. This ensures that the data hasn't been tampered with. This is how a typical JWT will look like. These are the three parts. You can see the red, blue, and the green. The red part will be the first part. The second part will be the payload, and third part will be the signature. Why is JWT a game changer? The compact and efficient. JWT is lightweight and easy to pass around in HTTP headers or even in the URL query string, making it efficient for mobile and the web application. The second part is the stateless authentication. JWT allows for stateless authentication, meaning the server doesn't have to store the session data for each user. Information is stored in the token itself and the server only needs to verify the token using a secret key. The last one for the game changer reason is the cross domain support. JWT can be used across different domains or the services making it a good choice for microservices or a single sign-on, which is SSO scenarios. So JWT use cases. The first part is the authentication. So after the user logs in, a JWT is generated and sent to the client. The client stores it in either in a local storage or the cookies and then send it with each request to access the protected routes. Authorization. Once the user is authenticated, their JWT includes the permissions and the roles that determine what they can access within an application. If you're an admin, then certain privileges. If you're a user, uh, suppress certain privileges. So those are encoded in the, in the body of the request, like in the JWT. So that will be decoded and will be verified to see what you have access to. The last part is the data exchange. Since JWT are signed, they can be used to securely exchange information between the parties, which is the client and the server, ensuring that the data hasn't been modified in transit. So let's talk about the real-time examples. So user authentication. So let's say a user logs into an e-commerce site or any site that deals with the JWT. Upon successful login, the server generates a JWT, contains the user ID and the rules and all other information about the user. The token is sent to the client and then stored in the local storage or in a different way. For every subsequent request that the client makes to the server, the JWT is attached in the header as an authorization bearer token. So authorization will be the header key bearer space the JWT token will be sent. The server verifies the incoming request by taking it the JWT token on every request that is sent and it is authenticated and authorized to perform the further action. And similarly the JWT is sent in every token and that will be used for the SSO which is a single sign-on. So let's talk about a real-time example. So this is the website where students or anyone can come and learn but in order to perform certain actions you need to be registered as a user so this site deals with the jwt and behind the scene authentication authorization is protected by azure ad b2c azure active directory business to consumer all right so let's say the user wants to log in okay or let's say user is trying to go to a place where he needs to log in you see this login is required it is being redirected to the login page Let's say the user is logging in and you can see there will be a request sent and then the server in our case is Azure AD will generate a token based on how it is configured and you should have got the token back. So let's talk about token. Let's say the token was received. All right. So what happens is this one, the ID token, which is here is saved locally and will be sent in every consecutive request. 
for example okay let's say the user is in this case it's an admin wants to go to a particular place to view the request in this case the request was viewed okay so in this case you see this this request which went out has a url like this is been sent with an authorization header with the bearer and a token so if i take this token and go to this jwt and paste it you see this three colors red is the part one second part two and then part three part three signature part two is payload and first one is the signing algorithm so you can see what algorithm is used and its type and then this is the payload and this is the signature this is how a jwt will be looking like okay so this is sent to the server and server knows how to validate this if there was some modification for example if somebody in the middle of the uh, attack like they they modified this information they created this jwt okay when the jwt created by them was sent to the uh, server our server will reject because our server knows how to decode it and based on the incoming jwt which was not generated by the server the secret key will not be matching it so it will not be able to generate it will eventually reject the request with 401 right so that's how it works and it has some basic information of how long the token can be those information will be here expiry date not before all of these properties are important so all of these are validated that's how the JWT works. Now we saw a real demo of how JWT works. Let's talk about key benefits of the JWT. JWT deals with stateless and scalable. The server doesn't store the session data, which helps in building scalable and distributed system because the server doesn't care about any of these things. As long as the user sends the JWT token in the in the request, the, the request will be served according to the JWT permission. Now security. The signature ensures the integrity of the token while encryption can be used to protect the sensitive data. What does it mean is all the requests that is dealt with HTTPS. So there's a inbuilt security that is there and then the signature will actually ensure the integrity of the token, which means uh, there will be a special, uh, you know, assigned signature to generate the JWT, which will ensure that nobody can tamper it. Only the server can verify it. And the last one is the flexibility. The JWT can be used with any programming language, making it ideal for the cross-platform system. So be it Java, Node.js, .NET Core, or whatever it is, JWT is still compatible in all of those languages. So the final conclusion is our JWT is truly a game changer when it comes to modern web and the mobile application security. Its compact size, efficient, and flexibility can make it an essential tool for authentication authorization and also secures the data transmission in today's world of cloud and distributed services i hope you enjoy this video if you like this video subscribe to my channel and for more videos stay tuned and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below Happy coding.